Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtu Toys Channel. Okay, uh, this time around, do a quick <laughs> catch up on some older Mini GT release. Okay, I'm going to cover quite a few things. Uh, I want to mainly cover actually the trailers, um, which I realize I've not done any of the trailers before. Uh, and I do have uh, these, these three in my own collection. I do have the Gulf as well, uh, but I don't think I'll be collecting it, so I'm just going to leave it sealed. Um, so, <coughs> right, I actually gotten them out already, okay, so I'll get to that, I'll get to that. So this few that I'm going to cover, right, uh, would be, this is number 112, okay, the Mercedes Actros with a 40 feet container, okay, the Maersk container. Um, this is actually the second, well, number wise, right, um, number 111 is actually the trailer, okay, with the car carrier in uh, grey blue, however, I don't have that. Um, because at the time I was thinking maybe it's a little bit too much for me, but now looking back, probably I should have kept one at least. Okay, but I do prefer the yellow, the yellow one actually. Uh, I kind of I'm yeah I like yellow more than the blue, so that's one of the reasons why I decided to keep the yellow version. Okay, this will be number one, three, seven. This is a little bit more recent, the Liberty Walk, uh, Kuma Graffiti version of the container. Okay, number three, three, three. All right, and this guy I've shown you before already. <coughs> okay, I've shown you before. And uh, since I got a bit of view, right? Okay, let's switch it on. This is actually our uh, Cubes, okay? Like uh, Cubes newer gallery um, in Damansara. All right, this place only operates during uh, events. Okay, so I'm just gonna switch it up because it's gonna make the rest of the thing a little bit dark. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, so make sure you follow Collectors Cube on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram as well. Um, Whenever there's any events here at Base 3, uh, they will update on their social media platform. Okay, cool. All right, so I actually already have them out on display. Um, the Sylvia, the set with the Sylvia, right? Uh, so this I've already done a review. I'll put a uh, link in the description below. So this actually came with this guy. All right, this actually came, came with this guy. Um, I've shown, I've showed uh, the difference with, uh, between a few as well. Okay, so generally speaking right there are three different um trailer setting for from mini gt while the hauler is still pretty much the same um it's still the same uh, mercedes i trust okay so uh you know what we'll do one by one right yeah so for let me finish the story first okay sorry being a little bit messy because all these are actually unscripted i'm doing it all on, on the fly i hope you guys don't mind so the the Hauler is the same, all right, but there's four different um, trailer type. The this would be the new transporter, okay, uh, covered. And then there's the container, and then the car trailer, and uh, did I say four? No, so there's three. Yeah, there's three. Sorry, <laughs> there's three. Okay, there's three only. Oh, the three types of uh, trailer at the back. Cool. Okay, so um, I think. What I'm gonna do is, uh, while I already unbox most of it, there's one that I haven't taken up yet, which is this guy. I thought I want to show you um, how it's being packaged. So this will be from uh, number one one two, the very first one, the Musk um, container. Okay, I think I've done uh, the a review on the container as well because they they do have the plain blue, then they have the evergreen, and then they have the plain white as well. Okay, so um, I do quite like how they have uh, packaged this thing because it's really very solid it's an entire piece of die cast okay so this thing is actually really very heavy so it is very easy to to be damaged during um shipping so the way they des design the 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 blister right is so that it holds everything in okay so this one has that red um what call is red trailer i think yeah I'm just call it red trailer okay so here we go here we go. All right, so that's out of the box. <clears throat> okay, so I do quite like that. It's it's actually made as a separate piece. So this guy, right, this container is actually interchangeable. Um, you can actually, you can use it as part as your Dharma. You can stack it up, uh, you can stack everything up together like that. Oops, sorry. Okay, you can stack it up. Hang on. Hey, yeah, I remember it's supposed to be able to stack. No, this one. Okay, this guy is not stackable. Okay, I think I recall 
wrongly. There's another version. Which one is it that's stackable? Okay, this one's not stackable. Yeah, I think it's a tarmac one that's stackable. Hmm. Okay, so that is not stackable, but uh, it's still interchangeable with the other trailers. Cool. All right. Huh? Did I recall wrongly? I thought it's stackable. Okay. All right. So the uh, the thing about this this trailer is also it's really actually quite realistic. Um, wheels are able to roll as usual for Mini GT, and then um, this uh, this part here, what's what's this called? This stand, okay. This stand here, all right, is actually adjustable uh, to be lowered or raised, okay. So the mechanism is actually a screw mechanism. So you got to twist it, and it goes further down, okay. And it goes further down, right, okay. So you gotta do it for both sides. So this guy, this guy back here, this piece, that's that's just uh, it's really really realistic. It's it's a separate piece. So I thought that you know this there's some sort of mechanism to this, but um, no, there's no mechanism to this. It's just a, a separate piece to make it look more realistic. Uh, but it doesn't do anything. All right, okay. I do quite like that they have included the spare wheel with uh, proper housing. Okay, done properly as well, not just screwed on. Okay, nice. Separate piece here, this detail to to protect the the I don't know what is this, this probably the air compressor. And uh, yeah, this the two side thing that protects the parts underneath the trailer. That's nice. Okay, and then there's the tail lights as well and the reflector safety lights at the back. So this thing again it's a uh, die cast. Okay, that's a mix. Um, the whole this whole piece is in metal. This guy is plastic. There's a couple of plastic pieces in here as well. I believe the rim is a plastic piece as well. But uh, really solid. Okay, really very solid. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, maybe I should show you right the container. Now the container. I do quite like this design actually. Uh, for Liberty World, definitely works. Um, with there's so many. There are so many Liberty Walk um, cars right now in the 64 scale uh, world. So this guy is definitely very useful for uh, dioramas and also for photos. Okay, um, openable openable doors, right? Yeah, openable doors. But why is it so tight? Okay, yeah, I get it right. Oh. Oh. Is it locked? Why is it locked? Did I get it wrong? Hang on. No. What's going on? Okay. Did I get it wrong? I remember it's yeah the doors are openable and um, yeah see it's supposed to be <laughs> just like that and I remember doing I remember doing the review and and I had a bit of struggle I don't think I can fit any car in here actually okay the Liberty Walk version that that is a little bit strange I can't it. okay so I have here in the meantime right. Um, I have here the McLaren. This is actually a new casting. The McLaren Artura Volcano Blue. This is number 430. Okay, number 430. Um, new casting. Okay, new casting. Very nice. Check out how, how they have shrink the McLaren down to 64 scale. This is actually very, very nice. This is very nice. The only, the only thing, everything is perfect. Uh, the headlamps, the front, the front lip, uh, the bumper. Um, the rims, the side mirror, this air intake here, okay, the tail lights, even though it's printed, it looks quite nice actually. The twin pipes um, in the middle, the diffuser, it, that's a separate piece, so it makes it very realistic as well. And um, the engine detail, I think it's fine, I think it's okay, um, but the part that kind of turned me off a little bit would be the paint, okay. So on the side, right, see how glossy it is. Okay, it looks quite okay on the front hood. It looks quite okay as well, but we go to the top, then it looks faded. Yeah, it's like uh, this has been out in the sun for a while. So, this is not. I don't think I. I remember this has happened to me before, but I can't recall exactly which model. I need to check back. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit unfortunate, but uh, overall, it's still a very nice casting. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to see the rest of the colors. Okay, so let's see if we can go in. I remember, ah, uh, okay, so the McLaren, no, I can't. Can it, can, it, can it go all the way in? Yes, it can. 
Okay, so there we go. Yep. But a white body, I don't think any white body cars will be able to fit in this. Okay. okay it's in and it's out. Okay, I, I didn't I didn't have to, you know, um um rotate it to move it to, to pack it in. So realistically it, it goes in and out. Just nice. Just nice. A little bit tight. But uh, just nice, okay? Alright, so that's McLaren. Um, I'm gonna put I'm just gonna pack in here. I remember I can't the white body ones can't go in. That's what I remember. Ooh, okay. It went in. The S15 did go in. Hmm. Okay. It did go in. Now I just I mean with that right, then now what I can recall is the mini GT boxes because they are the same size right because they are the same size so i guess it's similar to um another brand that, that we all know uh i think one of their way to shrink the real car to this scale right is to is one of the requirements probably is to be able to fit into this box into their blister so i don't think they can go they can make the car any wider than 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 the box that that is for sure that is for sure so now ah, that kind of makes sense i don't think they are the same in real life i don't think they're the same width but uh yeah i'm not sure because um i in in a perfect world right we in a perfect world we will be able to get um the liberty walk s15 and a mclaren artura parked next to each other <laughs> Right, so we don't know, um, that's one thing, getting them parked next to each other, but I don't know the actual width as well. If you do know, if you are able to find out the width of this Liberty Walk S15 and the width of the McLaren, let me know in the comment section below. Cool? Alright, so I'm gonna park the, this guy at the back first and I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give the, the Liberty Walk um, container a try again to see if I can open it up. Oh, this thing is stuck, why is it stuck? Should be able to open, right? It, it definitely looks... Ah, oh, there we go. A little bit tight. Finally got it out. Okay. Oh, this is really very tight. Why, uh? is it a paint? Really very tight. Oh, there's a snap-on mechanism. Yeah, there is a slight snap-on mechanism. Um, I think that's the reason why. Oh, this guy is really very tight. Okay, so uh, considered quite realistic, being able to open and close. I I really like this uh, Koma design actually. It should go with the uh, the other two GTRs, with the Koma, the Koma GTRs, the purple and also the white. Okay, so that's the uh, the container, and uh, I've shown you guys the the actros before, uh, if you recall on the. S15 um, set okay so this is actually the same truck uh, I don't see any I believe this is the same mold um, being able to steer left and right okay and then you can open up Ooh. so this guy has been sitting in the box for forever <laughs> today is the first time I got it out of the box actually so hey hang on I recall wrongly I'm, I'm supposed to see the engine detail, right? Huh? Is it not on the Mini GT? Did I seriously recall wrongly? <gasps> no? Am I not supposed not able to open it up? I'm checking the boxes. No? I can't lift it up. Like the other brand? What? Yeah. What? It does look like it's a separate piece. It does look like I'm supposed to be able to open it up. See this opening here? But, uh, oh, okay. No. <laughs> I recall wrongly. So this is not. No, what stun did I do? So this, yeah, this one doesn't have the engine detail. So only the other brand. So the other brand uh, that made the Scania. Yes, only the Scania is able to, to lift up the cap. And uh, no, Mini GT. No, <laughs> I recall wrongly. Sorry, guys. 
sorry about the stun. So this will be the first, uh, sorry, the second um, release uh, of the uh, the second trailer release in black. And then actually they did release the Actros just the hauler alone in silver and in black. I had that, but uh, I decided not to not to collect them as well because <laughs> there's just too many things to collect. Okay, but I understand that they are interchangeable. Okay, they're interchangeable. Um, still, even though without being able to 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 lift the cap to see the engine, right? I do quite like that they have done this realistically. Um, this is actually separate piece, and they are real springs that look like uh, wires. Okay, done very nicely. Look at that. Nice, nice. Okay, so that's the hauler. Okay. I do. I like the yellow one more actually. Um, hang on. Let me see if I can show you the mechanism. Okay, so the thing about the how it sits as well, right? So it's just a very small hinge, okay? But the way it works, right? As long as there's weight, um, it will lock in. Okay, yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna close. I've got to close the door. Let me just close the door. Let me just move this. There we go. There we go. Very tight space at the back. Okay, uh, I want to take a quick look at the transporter. Okay, this is number 137. Oh, I love the yellow. Love the yellow. Look at that. Okay, let me steer it a little bit more. Oh, it's really right edge. Okay, so I want to show you the trailer. Okay, let me just leave the hauler in front and we're gonna move it over. Damn, look at that. Very nice. Uh, supposed to be able to fit um, nine, sorry, six. What, what am I saying? Six, okay? Six uh, cars. All right, I do quite like the, how the edge, I mean the, well, what do you call this? <coughs> what do you call that? I like how this thing works, okay? So I can actually realistically, so-called realistically lift it up, drive it, drive it onto the, onto the uh, hauler. Okay, is it in? Is it back in? Hang on, I'm gonna put it back in. So this guy, right? This guy up here, it's a little bit fragile. Um, so when you want to take it out of the packaging, right? You gotta be a little bit more careful. Uh, make sure you remove because it's uh, taped. It's taped, uh, the, 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 that foam thing, right? This thing is taped together, okay? Can you see it? Yeah, this thing is taped, so you gotta make sure you open everything. Don't just, you know, open one side and lift it up like that. I wish you break the, that, that railing thing on top. Okay, so you gotta be careful when you open it up. And, but then again, I don't see any other new um, pre-order for this uh, transporter. Very nice, actually. Very, very nice. So I'm going to put the McLaren here and then um, who else? Okay, it's also, I do have uh, another recent restock, which would be the Porsche um, 911 GT3 Touring. Okay, this guy, number 405. Okay, number 405 in um, Guntian Blue Metallic. All right, so I already have it out of the box here. Now I don't, oh, there's so, yeah, there's so many releases, right, especially right before the Lunar New Year. So I can't recall if I already covered this. Um, there is a blue, there, sorry, there's another gray, oh, there's gray version or is it a black version? Oh, uh, it's, it's getting a little bit harder to keep track of these mini GTs. So I kind of just make sure if there's any new release, I make sure I got, I, I do keep at least one. One to unbox and one just keep for spare for a rainy day. <laughs> nice look at that look at that Porsche logo nice there we go can you see that Porsche logo the center pipe the diffuser the tail lights nice very nice it does look much longer than regular 911s especially the back okay so yeah now you can see the slight difference right? you see how the paint job is on this guy and the one on the McLaren, uh, you see the difference. Yeah, why I say it's a little bit faded, so I don't think it's supposed to be like that. It does look like it's, it's 
something there's something wrong with the paint okay so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna slide it in like that okay so that's the porsche porsche and then um another recent um restock i don't think i've covered this as well mini gt number 473 the bentley continental gt speed um, in apple green all right now come think of it because it's called apple green i think i covered this with the uh the apple green gtr but it's really very nice i think i'll just cover it again <laughs> nice 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 so these uh i do have them extras uh they're available through collector's cube uh do look up for them on um, instagram facebook and on tiktok as well okay and uh oh in the meantime help me to hit the like button okay because that will help me out in the uh youtube algorithms okay another guy that i've uh i've restocked recently would be this guy over here that's the pagani huayra roadster this will be in black okay this is number 417 again this is another model where i can't recall if i already done a review on this now this is actually a very very nice you uh, uh release from AGT. There have been quite a few colors already. I can't recall all of them as well. You can check out uh, minigt.com. Um, just search for Pagani Huayra. Um, that is probably a good uh, directory for uh, to help you collect all the variants. However, I did notice that there are some variant that is not listed in the web store. Web, web store uh, sorry, on their website, the minigt.com. So I think it will be a good question to ask when... Uh, when uh, Mr. Glenn, um, CEO of uh, Mini GT TSM, um, when he comes over for the Mini GT Kaido House dinner in Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur uh, in May, maybe that's a good question to ask, right? Or if you do know, okay, or if you do know why not all of them are listed on Mini GT's website, let me know in the comment section below. Cool? All right, look at that. That carbon fiber effect. The carbon fiber finishing at the back here and it's really very nice because there's something about this this particular release right that i really like just look at all the details on even on the dashboard on the center on the center console oh man look at that so yeah the hype right now is on the s15 right but look at this guy just quietly making its way into the market right <laughs> look at it Look at a look at a common fiber. How many GT has pulled it off? Look at that. Oh man, very very nice. The headlamps are done very nicely as well. Nice, very nice. I think there's an orange version of this. I think I think I need I need to find a chance to actually cover that uh, together with you guys. Oh, the exhaust and then the Pagani Huayra signature at the back. Very nice. Very, very nice so let me slot him in here like that okay he's in and then there is the uh a recent um hong kong exclusive okay this is a collaboration between mini gt and lamborghini hong kong uh unlock any road hong kong probably one of their marketing campaign okay so this will be mini gt number four four three the Lamborghini original genuine product license product sticker here we go there we go look at the rims very nice unlock any road Hong Kong look at that yeah probably one of their marketing campaign um, Lamborghini Hong Kong so I think probably this is one of their merchandise hang on is it a different is it different no it's the same uh, but it's mirrored not mirrored sorry um, it's uh, flipped not mirrored so I do quite like when they do it properly like this um, there's too many times where I've seen they just mirror the thing and so it, the, the livery only makes sense on one side and on the other side it's going to be mirrored <laughs> so it doesn't make sense at all so this one is done properly really nice unlock any road euros is it hashtag yeah, hashtag Eurus HK. Right, that's a hashtag, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yes, 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 it is. Check out the Lamborghini logo. Oh, nice. Nice. Very nice. In silver as well. Very nice. 
the roof box. Cool. So the thing about Mini GT roof box, it's always fixed. Okay, you can't remove it. Okay, so this is actually quite nice. Hang on, is it too big to fit? Yeah, I think it is. Oh no, it's actually quite okay. Yeah, you can still fit it on top. Hmm, noise, noise. So one more other car that I should fit in probably. Yeah, this guy. This is the this is the center of attraction right now. No to finish. S fifteen. Liberty walk. I'm gonna park it at the back here. Okay, and then we will we will keep the ramp. Okay, we'll just remove the ramp up and done. Voila. Nice. What do you think? Nice right. Oh, very nice. Cool. All right. So, uh, I think. Oh, hang on. Let me see. It's supposed to be able to lock on. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, now I got it right. There we go. It rolls perfectly. Damn. Very nice. Very nice. Well done, Mini GT. Cool. That's the. Trailer with a car carrier. Cool. All right. So, uh, hey, have you helped me to hit the like button yet? Okay, because that helped me out with the uh, YouTube algorithms. Hit the subscribe button um, so that I don't and hit the bell. Okay, so that I don't miss on any of my other diecast videos. Um, that's it for this time around. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know if there's any other car or any other uh, diecast that you want to see uh, in the comment section below. All right, take care. Bye.